Hey, this is Jared with Backwoods Animation, and today we're going to talk about mouth rigs. So recently I uploaded this video to Instagram. You're ready to download the job tracking template core file and start customizing it for your team. And I got a lot of questions about how I created the rig, so I'm going to show you. So first, we're going to create a new composition. We'll just make it square, 1080 by 1080, and hit OK. And the next, you're going to create a new solid. Um, and so this solid is going to be the back of the mouth. So we're going to make it like a dark maroon color. Uh, and then next, we're going to actually create the teeth. Uh, I'm just going to do a real simple shape. Just a half moon looking type teeth. Uh, and so you use the pen tool to get the desired effect you want. I'm just going to keep it real simple. And the next, I'll make it white. That's what teeth should look like. And then I'm going to add some, I'm going to add some gums to it. Just to give a little more believability to these one tooth mouth looking things. So I'll give a little generic gum, gum line. Um, and you can design it however you want. You can get as real as you'd like or as, uh, um, stylized as you'd like. All right, and then once I've got that, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it, let's go, let's make it more of like a pinkish color. And there we go. Now we've got teeth. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to add a round corners to the gum line. This will give it that nice smooth effect so it's not that jig jag line. Um, just kind of rounds it out without having to use the curves. Uh, I'll lower that. And then next, I'm just going to select my shape layer. I'm going to rename it teeth. Top teeth. And then I'm going to Duplicate it and rename this one bottom teeth. And then all I have to do now is rotate. And now I've got top and bottom teeth. All right, that was easy. Um, all right, so these are the teeth that we're going to have for the mouth. And then the, the next thing that I need to do is I need to create the mouth shape. So I'm just going to do a few simple points. And then once I have my basic shape for a mouth with some control points to move, I'm going to add round corners to that as well so that it's real simple to animate. Um, so I'll put a stroke on this one and we'll make this the lips and you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. So I take away the fill. So now it's just a stroked line. Um, and then I'm going to add to this shape a round corners. I'm going to bump it up probably around like a hundred. Um, that looks pretty good. And now you have the basic shape or outline of a mouth. And this is what we're going to animate along with the bottom teeth. Uh, and I'll call this one mouth. And then what I need to do is I need to create a mask to mask out the top teeth, the bottom teeth, and then the back of the mouth, which is that dark maroon. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll duplicate the mouth and I'll use this as a mask and I'll start with the bottom teeth. I'll mask out the, uh, or actually I need to change it to a solid and I'll remove the stroke. So now I just have a solid and oh actually i need to alpha mat just alpha mat so now the lips are or the mouth is masking out the bottom teeth and i'll do it the same for the top teeth as well all right and if you hear any weird grunting that's just my two and a half year old she's sitting in my lap <laughs> so it's not me it's my two and a half year old 
All right, so now we've got a mouth that's been masked out. It's looking good. Um, so next steps, we just need to set up our, uh, our shape layers. And so I previously made a mouth with the, the, um, the key frames for each pose we're going to need. And so I'm going to jump into that comp and I'll show you how I set it up. Um, so taking the, the exact thing that we just made, you're going to keyframe everything, the, the path shapes, the mouth and everything. So that was your first shape. And then frame two, this will be your second shape. We're going to go to like an ooh, ah, kind of an O or U and make sure you move that bottom jaw. The next frame is going to be this kind of sideways ah looking mouth. Make sure you move that jaw. And then frame four is going to be the smile with the teeth coming up. And then frame five is going to be this big open wide like gaping ah. Okay. And so those are your five shapes you're going to need to set up in uh, joysticks, joysticks and sliders. And so once you have those to your desired effect, whatever it might be, um, you can get as creative as you want. You can piggyback off some of the designs I did and create your own. But once you have that, you're going to create your own joystick for that. And then once you have your joystick and everything rigged up to your joysticks, we'll see how the whole thing functions. Um, now I've got a lot of keyframes in mind, so just ignore that. But this is how it, how it works. So you see that nice, that nice movement, it follows like the bottom jaw. Um, this is set up so perfectly for animating uh, lip syncs. And basically the best way to do it is you take the highs and the lows of your, your dialogue and you look for a point where it spikes and that's when your mouth should be open. And when the, the audio dips, that's when your mouth should be closed to some extent. And when you set your keyframes, the the next thing you want to do is you select your keyframes um, and I've already done it but you basically want to do easy ease and then crunch all those curves over to the left so it's like a quick spike into the mouth as it settles into its position and that gives a nice bounce to it all right and so that's basically how I've set it up and um, now we can now we can watch it and see how it functions. Let's see. You're ready to download the job tracking template core file and start customizing it for your team. All right, and now you can get kind of creative with it. Um, you can add things like a mustache. You're I ready did. to download the job tracking template core file and start customizing it for your team. So you can get fun with it, and this is not a perfect rig by any means. You might see I didn't talk about a tongue. Um, the way that I did the tongue is I simply created like a, a generic tongue shape and then I masked it out with the bottom teeth. Um, I really haven't had the time to think about how the tongue's going to function. So this was my quick fix just to get it to work. And it seemed to do the trick. Obviously you can see it breaks a little bit, but, um, until I can figure it out or until somebody has a better solution for me, this is how it's going to be. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you found it useful. As always, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.